in my previous video I showed you uh, how to calculate the maximum squat for a super tanker today's video I will show you how to calculate the maximum squat for a container ship and a cargo ship using two separate examples so let's get started so example one says that there is a container ship with a block coefficient of 0.575 and it is proceeding up river at a speed or velocity of 6 knots uh, this river of rectangular cross section has a h by t ratio of 1.25 and b by b ratio of 3.55 now what is h h is the depth of water T is the ship's static even keel draft that is the ship's draft when she is stationary at an even keel so there is no listing or healing capital B stands for the breadth of the water and small b stands of the molded depth of the ship which is in transit now when static or when stationary the ship was on even keel there was no list or heel calculate the maximum squat at this speed and where it will occur that is whether it will occur at the bow or stern not the geographic location the k value is given to us as 1.752 now k is a constant and the value is given to us i'll tell you how k is found out separately as well so let's get started with the solution the solution is the maximum squat formula calculation also denoted by this letter here maximum squat is equal to k that is a constant multiplied by the block coefficient multiplied by the square of the velocity divided by 100 so again 1.752 is given to us multiplied by the block coefficient is given to us in the question and so is the velocity of the vessel square of the velocity divided by 100 simply put in the values in this calculator and you will get the maximum squat as 0.36 meters now this 0.36 meters of squat will be located at the stern of the container vessel because here the block coefficient is less than 0 0.700 and the ship when static was also on E1 keel. Alright, let's take the second example and then I'll tell you how the K is calculated. Actually I can tell you right now. So K is uh, given to us in the question, in both the questions here. However, you can also find out k uh, from sometimes there is a k coefficient graph given to us for a rectangular section reverse. In that graph, on your uh, x and y axis, so you have your y axis and x axis, on your y axis you have your h by t values and on your x axis you have your uh, b by b values here. Alright and then uh, you can find out the values uh, using a cross section so for uh, different conditions and then sometimes here not sometimes but here you have your 10 percent ukc that is under key clearance you have your 15 percent under key clearance given to you and 20 percent under key clearance uh, and then there is one area which is denoted as this area is dangerous shallow water conditions dangerous shallow water and then otherwise your k values are given here sometimes like these cross and all that and you can just go from h to t ratio and b to b ratio and find out your k value so we'll not go into all that it's uh, not required for you but uh, i'm just giving you this knowledge because uh, so that you know where to get the k values from if such a graph is given instead of the value itself however for your exam purposes i think the value will be given to you straightforward so let's go into the second question here the second question says there's a general cargo ship this time which has a block coefficient of exactly 7.700 and it is proceeding up river at a velocity of or speed of 5 knots this time this river of rectangular cross section has an h by t ratio 1.1 and b by b ratio of 5.6 now you know what all of these stand for so i will not repeat these what they stand for when static or stationary the ship was on even keel draft calculate the maximum squat at this speed and where it will occur whether it's bow or stern and again the k constant value is given to you as 
So in this case again, the formula is the same, maximum squat equals constant multiplied by the block coefficient multiplied by the square of the velocity divided by 100. Simply put in the values as given to you in the question and you will get the maximum squat as 0.24 meters. However, this time, this 0.24 meters will be located from the stern of to midships to the bow. From the stern towards the midships towards the bow because the block coefficient is exactly 0 0.700 and the ship when static was on even keel. Alright, so the 2.4.25 meters of the squad will be located from the stern towards the midships going towards the bow. Alright, so in two separate videos now I've shown you how to calculate the maximum squad for a super tanker, container ship and cargo ship and what are the rules of where it occurs depending on the block coefficient of the vessel. So let me know what you thought about this video guys and all the best with your studies. Bye.